So what do you do when you get burned? I mean, there's a long, story long ago, it talks about the cat that jumped on the hot stove, got burned, you know, learned his lesson, never jumped on the hot stove again, but guess what? Also never jumped on the cold stove either. You know, so, you know, did it ever make you a little gun shy? You know, when you, when you get burned, you know, you don't want to really do that again or do whatever you did. And so what do you do? You know, because it is, it is kind of one of those things where it happens in relationships, it happens in business, and it really sucks, you know, but we have to learn from that. And every time we come up, come up against a struggle, we can't just stop. I mean, I wouldn't get where I was at in life if I just stopped at every struggle. And I think that, you know, we, yes, we get burned. I mean, you know, some of you guys might not know this. Some of you guys, maybe the have been following me for a while. Um, you know, a long time ago, I've actually been through two divorces. So I've been through two relationships that didn't work out, but now I'm happily married uh, for five years, going on six. I have two beautiful kids. And if I would have said, yo, relationships don't work, guess what? I wouldn't be happily married right now. I wouldn't have two beautiful kids. I wouldn't have the life that I have right now because I said, well, you know, it just doesn't work. And I, and I know, I, I get it. I, I, there's, there's times in our lives where it's like, I got burned, I'm just gonna shut it off and I'm just gonna be single for the rest of my life, or I'm not gonna ever start a business, or I'm gonna, you know, not, I'm gonna just have a job for the rest of my life. I, I don't know what those, those things are for you, but I think that we just need to calm down for a second and think about, okay, what really happened and what can I learn from it? And then, you know, can I live to fight another day? Because I think that the more struggle you go through and the lessons that you learn, you're able to help more people and give back more. I mean, heck, you know, maybe you don't have kids, but when you do have kids, you're going to be able to share with them these stories because guess what? Our kids are going to have struggles too, right? And obviously if you have kids now, that's something that you could share with them, whether that's now or maybe later on when they get a little older. But I think it's part of life. I think it's normal. I think, yes, it doesn't feel good, but it's something that, hey, we all get burned. And um, I, I tend to trust people very quickly. It's just the way that I am. And that's burned me a lot. Uh, more times that I'd like to share. But that hasn't made me this scarcity, you know, like turn into myself, never talk to anybody ever again. I continue to be giving, I continue to be trusting, I continue to have that abundant mindset, and it's gotten me very, very far in life. And so it doesn't make me feel good at all when I get burned and then I go internal and I close myself off, because think about this, when, when, you, when you close yourself off um, and, and you start blaming other people and you're mad at the world, guess what? The world doesn't care. <laughs> The world doesn't care and I like I had to realize that. It's like, okay, great, I gotta get over myself and just get moving again. And because hey, you know what? You have a lot to offer. We all have a lot to offer the world and the people in our lives. And so um, let's get back on the saddle, okay? Maybe you've been burned on something that re just recently. It's time to get back on the saddle. You know, if you have to have a conversation with somebody, have that conversation. Have that crucial conversation, set those boundaries, right? So that doesn't happen again, but it's time for you to get back on the saddle and do what you're supposed to do to get your life where it needs to get to, right? So I hope this helps you arrive at your next intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy. Get back on the stove.